Alright, so now I got the bonus item. I got the free car now. <laughs> nah, nah, it's good, it's good. It's good for real. Damn, this car is insane. Holy sh. Holy shit! Damn! This shit fast as fuck. Oh! Alright, so we did end up getting the new car in GTA for free, right? After completing all the missions for the last dose, um, obviously I think you have to have all the missions for the first dose done too. But um, basically, as long as you got all those, you know, drug war missions done, you basically get Friedman's car for free. Or Friedman, I don't know how you say his shitty name. The Ocelot Virtue is a very, very interesting vehicle. Pretty sure it's based off of one of the Lotus vehicles. Top of that, all electric and insane acceleration. And you can go and customize it anywhere, I'm pretty sure, obviously. Uh, more specifically, if you take it to the agency, you could get the Imani mods from that one girl that works at the agency. And I think you can add, like, different mods to it that can, like, I guess, like, um, be, like, EMP grenades or, you know, the sticky, um, traps that you can have on a car. I mean, I don't really care to add those, but for those who would like to add those, you could just go customize it at the agency. Me personally, I don't care for those mods, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the Los Santos car meet, and I'm gonna customize it there. Imagine this car with HSW upgrades. Like, this car is already, like, one of the fastest accelerations I've ever seen. The top speed, though, maxes out at 120, so it's not the fastest car, though. So that's, that's pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. I do like it, though. Uh, we're gonna change up pretty much everything about this car. This is stock, basically, and honestly, don't really like the delivery too much, so I kind of want to change it. All right, customizing the new Ocelot Virtue. That's it. Fully customized Ocelot Virtue. I like this car a lot, but just as it's fairly stock look, okay, I didn't really feel like I needed to add too much customizations to it. I feel like adding would really take away from the beauty of the car, if I had to be honest. So adding a couple different things, minor things like uh, the, the racing fins, the spoiler, um, the front and, and, and rear bumpers. Um, the stock wheels are amazing, by the way. <laughs> Keep the stock wheels as is. You know, most of the cars stock as is looks very, very beautiful. You know, just adding small things like the spoiler. Well, I guess the spoiler isn't a small thing. But, you know, small things like maybe the, the racing fins definitely adds a nice touch to the car. But the car doesn't need too much customization, in my opinion, to look very good. I in fact, I feel like if you add too many customizations, 
it, it feels like too much for the car in my opinion but maybe it's just the feel for this car overall i think this car is worth it worth getting when you finish all the missions and you get it for free you know it's dope because you get this license plate it says mindful um it's kind of hard to see and a big plus is all the missions that you do to get this car for free are very very fun missions that you can do solo or that you can do with friends so i really recommend you guys do all those drug war last dose missions or whatever it's definitely worth getting the car for free if you buy the car and you don't feel like doing the missions i still think it might be worth it and we're gonna see right now as i start driving okay it's fully customized now it's not stock how fast is the acceleration immediately immediately cranking out the top speed that is one of the fastest accelerations i've ever seen wow this car is not worth buying it might i don't think it might actually not be worth buying that's tough it's stuck at 120 i think miles per hour it doesn't i feel like upgrading it didn't i feel like upgrading really didn't do anything except improve the acceleration time even more but the top speed didn't improve like changing the engine level didn't make much of a difference i'm going straight that looks like 120 i mean it's hard to see the little speedometer the digital speedometer it's hard to see it them small ass fucking numbers but from what i read it, it's going 119 okay that's what it's holding on i think the car if you buy it is like 2 million you can see right now on the website it doesn't even pop up on the website great i think it's gonna pop up next week if anything i think right now you can get it for free but I don't think it's popping up on the website. For me, it isn't, at least. But I think I heard or seen, like, posts about it to where it's, like, around 2 million something. So, unless you like electric cars or you like fast accelerating cars, I don't think this would be really worth it overall because the overall performance isn't... is, is really lacking in top speed. That's the only thing this car is missing. If this car was able to go as fast as, you know, the Divesti 8, with this kind of acceleration, it'd be out of this world. Like, this shit goes zero to top speed within three seconds, literally. I'm already top speed right here. I'm top speed already. That was, like, three seconds or less, dude. <laughs> three seconds or less for top speed. When a Divesti 8 to go top speed takes at least, like, six to ten seconds. Some shit like that. I don't... All I know is it takes way more... It takes more than six seconds, for sure. For a Divesti 8 to go to its top speed. You know, one of the highest performing cars in the game. And even the Divesti 8 has pretty good acceleration. The top speed... After upgrading it from stock, still being 120 is disappointing. I would guess, you would guess that changing the engine level would bring the car speed up. You know what I mean? That's what usually happens, right? With most cars in the game. Their speed gets, their top speed gets higher, but I guess not in this case. A little disappointing, but it is a nice, good car for the most part. I do like it. I just personally think that unless you're getting it free, it's not going to be too worth it for the most part. Find other cars for a better bang for your buck with better performance overall guys thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah catch you on the next one peace